What's up, folks? I'm just Gouda, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the film produced by M. Night Shyamalan, Knock at the Cabin. The synopsis of the film is about uh, a family vacationing at a cabin in the woods, approached by four visitors carrying uh, weapons of various sorts, and they have a message to deliver to the family. The message is, hey, we've seen the apocalypse coming, and in order to avert the apocalypse, one of you will need to sacrifice yourself. Now, the, the film is led by Dave Bautista, who's kind of the leader of the visitors who approach. All of the visitors had the same, similar type of visions, and they've had dreams which led them to meet each other. And when they go to tell the family, you know, this type of news, of course, they don't take it well, and they have to be tied up and subdued. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, some of M. Night Shyamalan's work, he's done films such as uh, Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, Signs, and uh, more lately, he's done Old and Glass, as well as Split. Uh, he's done quite a few films, but uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with his film style, he's one of the directors who likes to let the audience kind of think for themselves when watching the film um, he doesn't like to you know hand feed you and kill you with special effects or you know gory kill shots and things of that nature so it's more kind of in the eye of the beholder type of deal which you know it can be good for some or i can see bad as well I personally, you know, enjoy most of his films. Sometimes I always wish he would, you know, display a little bit more in the films, but I understand his process and, you know, I respect his style of directing. I kind of look back and think that the film revolves around faith. And the reason why I say that is because uh, Andrew, who's one of the, the fathers who's tied down, despite seeing you know, the evidence that Dave was presenting to him. By this time, most of his members have, you know, sacrificed themselves because the family denied to do it. Despite seeing, you know, what was going on, the father would, you know, turn the, the story around and find an excuse to why this is fraudulent. Maybe it's pre-recorded or maybe they're being uh, assaulted because, you know, they're homosexual or you know coming up with just different reasons of why this can't be happening and when you think about it now the dynamic of the film has changed so as an audience you're now kind of brought in maybe without even knowing it but you're you're the third party in the film so you have you know the family and andrew who is I would label him as uh, the debunker. And then you have Dave Batista, who you might consider uh, a conspiracy theorist. And then you have yourself as the audience member, and you gotta decide uh, who's telling the truth. Who do you believe in? Who do you have faith in? And that's the dynamic. So even though Andrew has shown, you know, all of the evidence, and he, he still refuses because he just doesn't want to accept that answer and he's coming up with you know different reasons of why this is not valid and just to rewind back a bit he was so convincing that he was even able to rattle some of Dave's crew and kind of get them to second guess well are we a little bit crazy or is this really real and so he he has a convincing tone to himself but yet dave and his crew even though they might not have all of the evidence and the facts and the data points to prove what they were saying they had great hunches and they believed what they were hearing and seeing was true and they needed to carry out this mission in order to save humanity and so now you as the audience you gotta try to see you know who's more convincing who do you believe uh who do you tend to follow more i think that's the beauty of the film like you get to be involved involved in it
And so for these reasons, I'm going to give this film four out of five Google Blocks. I really enjoyed the film. The scenery was great. Cinematography was all there, the audio effects and the acting. My only gripe was I wish they might have shown a little bit more to the cataclysms. I felt like it would have helped you know hit a little bit more home to the, the viewers but you know that's m Knight's style of uh directing and you as audience member you can kind of speculate how deep the damage was that was displayed throughout the film and so now i'd like to ask you guys if this was presented to you what would you do how much faith or belief would you need to carry out and sacrifice yourself for humanity and would you even do it even if you had all the evidence. For me, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I tend to follow my instincts, and I think if if it was presented to me, it depends on how I viewed humanity at that time. So now you get to play uh, essentially God or Jesus or whoever you worship. Um, is, you, is humanity worth saving? And it just depends. <laughs> So leave your thoughts in the comments. Um, if you like the video, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Peace.